In this video, I'm gonna show you how to post a carousel on LinkedIn. Make sure you stick through to the end because I'll also be including how many slides you should include in your carousels and what size you should make your carousels. So let's get into it. In order to upload a carousel, first we need to start a post up here at the top of our feed. Then we need to hit this plus button. Then we need to hit add a document. And then at this point, we need to choose a file. Now for carousels, you cannot just upload multiple images and turn that into a carousel. That won't work. You need to create a carousel by turning those multiple images into a PDF. So this is what my carousel looks like in Canva. Now I will make another video on how to create a carousel on Canva. That's probably on the channel right now. I'll link it down below in the description. And in the description, you'll also get a link to a free LinkedIn carousel template for Canva. So definitely check that out. So this is the carousel. It's got 15 pages. And in order to turn this into an actual PDF that we can use and we can flip through on LinkedIn, we go to share, then we go to download. Then at this point, instead of downloading as a PNG, we turn it into a PDF standard. Then we click download. Now that's downloaded, we can go back to LinkedIn and we can choose our file. I'll go to my downloads and then we will open this file. So here you need to name your file. So I will copy and paste the actual name. And then we can also see how this will work on LinkedIn. So you can see that it will swipe from left to right. There we go. And now we can write the post. When you're writing your text that introduces your carousel, you want to have a hook that grabs attention. Then you want to give some context. For example, for this post, it's 10 tools I use that get me millions of views. So I'd write, I could write 10 tools I use that get me millions of views. Then I'll list the 10 tools. And then I'll say, if you wanna know how I use these 10 tools and what they're best for, read the carousel for more details. So they get a lot of value in just reading the text. And then I'm also making them curious to actually go through the carousel because there's added value. For example, as you see, if I just list Ahrefs SEO research, it doesn't give, it doesn't tell you what it does and how I use it. So there's extra information here. So you give them the brief information in the text, extra information, more in-depth information in the carousel that will help your carousels perform well. Now, how many slides should you include in your carousel? The best performing carousels have 10 to 20 slides. The sweet spot is around 12.4 slides. So that's how many slides you should be using in your carousel. Go for 12 if you can, but hit from 10 to 20. What should your carousel size be? Your carousel size should be 180 times 1350 because when someone clicks on your carousel, it's just more aesthetically pleasing to have it take up more of the screen than to just make it a little square box. However, if you're cross posting your carousel to Instagram and LinkedIn, then you can go 180 times 180 and just create a square carousel. Now, the truth is creating a carousel can be very hard, especially if it's your first carousel and you're not a designer like me. That's why I've created a free LinkedIn carousel template for Canva that you can download right now. Click the link in the description or go to the link on the screen. If you've got any questions or any other LinkedIn tutorials you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.